Greetings, everyone. This is Professor R. T. Bates at Per Netter Kemet, New York. And today is a special day for us at Per Netter Kemet. It's Mom and Dad Soul Return Day. Today, August 8th, 1925, my mom. Eleanor DeShields was born. And tomorrow, August 9th, excuse me, Mom was born 1923. And Dad, August 9th, was born 1925. So, I was born of the light and lucky, which they called my dad. So today is their day, and tomorrow, and I still just have a few things left of mom, a Tiffany pin, a hair, a comb, brush, and a mirror, and some of the bad, some of the uh, badges my mother used to get and collect. Because she was a radical. She was into stuff. And an old box. But nothing will take away the memories of mom. She was my hero. She was beautiful. She was the most beautiful mom I ever. I hear stories of other people. And I can't believe that they had to grow up like that. Because I had a beautiful mom. We were five generations at one time, but then my grandnephew Stephen was taken away from us by a murderer. And this is why I've named the academy the Stephen L. Mason Academy. More on him and the academy at another time. Today is Mom's Day. And Mom is the one that taught me how to be a radical. She's the one that uh, taught me I better learn how to read. And But she didn't force me to learn their ways. She wasn't prejudiced, but she was pro-us, pro-black, if you would say. And I loved my mom. She would take care of people. She'd take care of anyone. She'd help you out no matter who you was. Take you off the street. And there go her Malcolm X shirt. She took us to the rallies when I was a child to see Malcolm X as well as Martin Luther King. And she was a radical. But she partied. We had some good times coming up. She knew how to get it down and boogie. Mom was no joke. She showed us how to have fun. But Mom could be gangster sometime too. Five foot whatever, five foot and change. She go out there, 60, 70 years old, to protect a friend with a baseball bat by herself. Real stories. But she was elegant. She was she was the true example of what people would call a queen. That's a versatile mother. She was a quiet radical. She just wanted to read and be peaceful. She is the one that taught me about the real Tao. I was fortunate to spend the last 10 years of her life together, uh, taking care of her, walking back and forth to the store, tying the shoes, and till I couldn't do it no more. It's just some things I couldn't do as a man. So uh, now she's gone, but I'll always have our memories, explaining to her about the TV when she went blind, explaining what was going on on the TV, and us uh, having our drink of E and J and all that stuff. Yeah, 
They don't make them like Ma and Grandma anymore. Nana and Ma, those were the leaders of the family, the mother. Ma taught me quiet leadership. How to just be yourself. She was happy with the way I was, being a free spirit. She said before I left here, she said, and before she left, uh, that she was happy. She wished she was a more free spirit like me. And now, tomorrow is Dad's Day. Now what could you say about my dad? Semi-pro baseball, semi-pro bowling, and uh, he is a pretty good boxer too. Gave me a few pointers about boxing and uh, stuff like that. He was a happy guy. You know, only time he ever put his hands on me was uh, when me and my brother stole some money. And it was the lady's last rent money down in Harlem. I think it was like $50. And we got it, boy. But um, other than that, he never put his hands on us, except maybe my older brothers was kind of hard-headed. But like I said, he was happy to keep you laughing. And he was lucky. He did his thing. The women loved him. And uh, he loved the women. Taught me about business, how to take care of business. And he taught me what not to do in business by some of the things he did in business. But he was a real man. He taught me how to be a man. He was my man hero. My mother and my father, I was lucky. And that's where I get it from, lucky. He finally got to be a sheriff up in Spring Valley, New York. One of his lifetime things was to be a, a police officer. So I wonder how he feels now about these police and the things going on now. But dad was a dad. He was stern, he worked, and he showed me, get your own stuff. Between him and Ma, they taught me, do your own thing. And Dad showed me how it's land. We need our own land, our own homes and stuff. Not working for somebody, but our own food, our own things. This is where I get it from. So, yep. Happy soul return, Ma and Dad. I'm lucky that y'all uh, was the light and the luck in my life and showed me the things that I do now for whether they know it or not. Everything I do is for this family, for our family. The land, our own food, it's about inheritance. Inheritance. Peace, Unc. Hatep and everlasting life. Mom and Dad. Peace.